The movie begins in the dire trenches of France during the peak of World War I. Stubby, a trained military dog, races around the battlefield as deadly bombs detonate around him. As he surveys the area, he finds an injured soldier and immediately barks as he signals for help. Hearing this, the soldier's comrades rush to save him as they swiftly usher the injured man to an infirmary. On returning to camp, news of Stubby's heroic deed spreads across the trenches as the soldiers wonder how a dog made it to the war's front lines. Right then, we get a flashback to six months ago in a small town in Connecticut where Stubby's adventure began. One sunny afternoon, a hungry Stubby explores the town in search for food. After several minutes of searching, he stumbles on a parade of recruits marching through the town streets. Robert, one of the marching soldiers, notices Stubby is hungry and decides to toss a cookie at him as he continues his parade. A famished Stubby swiftly devours the cookie, after which he races after the parade in hopes of meeting Robert. However, before he can reach the kind soldier, the troops enter their training camp, and Stubby is sent back by the guarding officers. Determined, the stray dog doesn't give up, but instead finds an alternative opening through the camp's damaged fence. Once inside, he runs and bumps into Robert. The soldier is immediately shocked to see him and tries to drive Stubby away. However, the stray dog is very persistent and ignores all attempts to get rid of him. After multiple failed trials, the defeated Robert finally gives up and decides to keep the stray as a pet. Over the next couple months, Stubby joins the soldier's training routine as he accompanies Robert in clearing his daily challenges. During this time, the duo builds a strong connection with each other as Robert spends every night training Stubby and teaching him various dog tricks. At the end of their training, Robert, alongside the rest of the army troops, is deployed to France to join the French army in the front lines. On hearing the news, the young soldier is devastated as he isn't allowed to take Stubby along. Left with no choice, Robert ultimately says his goodbyes and gives his newfound friend a dog tag as a parting gift, after which he hands Stubby to the camp's cook for safekeeping. That night, as the officers leave for deployment, Stubby frees himself from his leash and chases after the departing platoon. Using his sharp-smelling abilities, he traces the men to a nearby station and arrives right as the train is leaving its stop. Determined to reunite with Robert, Stubby fiercely chases after the moving vehicle and luckily catches up as he narrowly leaps onto it. About an hour later, the train hits a stop at a seaport as the soldiers march into a provided military ship. Stubby considers joining the marching troops but decides against it upon seeing a pair of guarding soldiers. To avoid being caught, the clever dog discreetly hides in one of the ship's cargo as the oblivious soldiers unknowingly offload him on the vessel. That night, Stubby patiently waits till the vessel sets sail, after which he comes out of the concealing cargo and heads out in search for Robert. While he explores the ship, he runs into a guard patrolling the deck, but luckily hides before being seen as he narrowly escapes capture. After minutes of exploration, Stubby eventually finds the soldier sleeping in one of the ship's cabins. Using his sharp senses, Stubby locates Robert and jumps on the sleeping soldier as he excitedly hugs him. Robert is incredibly shocked to find Stubby on the ship, but instantly grows fearful for the dog's life, as he may be thrown overboard if discovered. In light of this, Robert recruits the help of his two friends, Hans and Olsen, in hiding Stubby. Together, the trio sneaks through the ship in search of a hiding spot. Unfortunately, their undercover mission fails as they run into their platoon's lieutenant, who ends up discovering Stubby. Once found, the three soldiers quiver in fear for Stubby's life. However, to their utmost surprise, the lieutenant takes a liking to Stubby and allows him to remain on the ship. Weeks later, the troops finally arrive on land and march to their assigned destination. The American soldiers make their way to a massive trench where a platoon of French soldiers and made camp as they settle in for the night. The next morning, the new troops are welcomed with a barrage of bomb blasts from the enemy lines. All the troops swiftly run to take cover, but unfortunately the chaotic attack hits a couple of French soldiers, leaving them injured. Stubby, on the other hand, gets out unscathed, thanks to Robert's protection. Once the attack stops, Stubby springs to action as he digs out one of the injured soldiers who was buried by exploded debris. The clever dog then alerts the paramedics as they swiftly rush to rescue the wounded soldier, thus saving his life. The next day, Robert is assigned a French partner named Gaston to accompany him on a reconnaissance mission. Together, the duo, alongside Stubby, rides a pair of horses as they head for a hill behind enemy lines to spy on the Germans. A few minutes later, they arrive at their destination and quietly use a pair of binoculars to monitor the opposing troops. In doing this, they discover that the Germans are prepping to launch an aerial gas attack at their base. Aware of the imminent attack, the soldiers hastily run through the woods in a quest to warn their comrades and the villagers of a nearby French town. However, before they can return to their horses, the men get ambushed by a German soldier who fires at them. Luckily, Stubby saves Robert from being shot by tripping the American soldier while Gaston returns fire. Sadly, the gunshot sounds scare the horses, 
causing them to run away before the soldiers can reach them. With little time left to warn the troops, Robert shows Stubby his gas mask and commands the clever dog to warn the soldiers. Wasting no time, Stubby immediately races to the battle lines and gestures to the lieutenant that a gas attack is coming. The witty lieutenant instantly gets the message and sounds an alarm, warning the troops of imminent strike. Once the soldiers are informed, Stubby races to the nearby Frenchtown and also warns the villagers of the gas attack, prompting them to wear masks and shut their windows. However, with all the doors and windows shut, Stubby's left alone in the street with no protection as the gas gradually approaches him. Fortunately, Robert and Gaston arrive right in time and save the dog as they run into a nearby barn. Using a soaked napkin, the duo conjures a makeshift mask and wears it on Stubby. Luckily, this proves effective as the gas eventually passes without hurting them. Once the vapor clears, the grateful villagers re-emerge from their houses and profusely thank Stubby for his heroic action. That evening, Robert and Gaston stroll through the woods and sit at the top of a hill, where they watch the beautiful horizon. On conversing, the duo shares their respective war experiences as they bond over their desire to return to their families. As the two men peacefully watch the sunset, their bonding session is abruptly interrupted by the sounds of bombs. Hearing this, the duo, accompanied by Stubby, swiftly returns to the front lines to join their comrades. There they learn that the Germans had launched a surprise attack on them. However, most of the soldiers luckily escaped the attack and safely returned to the camp. But unfortunately, one was caught in the crossfire and is severely injured and lost in the battlefield. Stubby, saddened by the news, and instantly sprints to the heated front lines in search for the injured soldier, thus returning to the scene at the start of the movie. After the injured soldier was recovered, the American and French troops prepared for a new wave of German attacks. Shortly after, the enemy forces marched toward the American trenches, with the soldiers fiercely fighting to protect their territory. About an hour later, a group of German soldiers makes its way through their defense lines and into the camp. Seeing this, Robert and Gaston, with Stubby's help, decide to set a trap for the intruders. The clever dog catches the enemy's attention and lures them into chasing him through the trenches. As the oblivious German soldiers run around in circles, they get ambushed by Robert and Gaston, who force them to surrender by holding the men at gunpoint. Once the men are arrested, Robert and Stubby hastily return to the front lines. There, they're bombarded with a series of grenade attacks as the troops swiftly take cover. A few moments later, an enemy grenade lands just a few feet away from Hans and Olsen. Stunned, the American soldiers are slow to dodge the attack, prompting Stubby to grab the grenade and sprint away from the troops. Robert is petrified to see this and screams in horror as he chases after Stubby. Luckily, he finds the brave dog alive but in critical condition, lying under a woodpile. Scared, Robert instantly carries Stubby and delivers him to camp, where he and Hans are rushed to a hospital in an ambulance. Meanwhile, back at the front lines, the Germans had finally infiltrated their lines and seized the territory, causing the troops to retreat. A sad Robert eventually reunites with his comrades, but spends the next couple months fighting without Stubby's company. To make matters worse, his trusted partner Gaston is deployed to another platoon, thus making him feel even more alone. Unfortunately, Robert's problems just keep on coming as he comes down with a deadly flu, which spreads through the forces. On a chilly night, Olsen finds Robert coughing and rushes him to a nearby infirmary. Robert's condition worsens for the next couple days as his fever stays at an all-time high, much to Olsen's dismay. One day, as the worried friend patrols the infirmary grounds, he notices a rustling sound coming from a nearby bush. Startled, Olsen checks it out and is shocked to find Stubby hiding in the bushes. Seeing this, Olsen instantly takes Stubby to see Robert. Seconds later, man and dog are reunited, as Stubby keeps a recuperating Robert company in the hospital. Fortunately, Robert soon recovers from the flu and returns to perfect health. Together, Stubby and Robert return to the front lines and join their comrades in war. As usual, Stubby proves to be an invaluable asset, as he helps the troops to locate and defeat enemy spies. Thanks to the American and French Army's joint efforts, they successfully push the German soldiers into retreating, thus gaining the upper hand in the war. Weeks later, the upper ranks get news of Stubby and Robert's heroic deeds, and the duo is each given a promotion. Robert is raised from the rank of private to corporal, while Stubby is awarded an honorary sergeant title. During the promotion ceremony, Gaston returns to camp and reunites with Robert and Stubby. The next day, the troops march to the battlefield and seize yet another German foothold, causing their opponents to retreat further. Right as they seize this location, an American soldier enthusiastically announces that the war would end the next day, as the Germans are looking to sign a peace treaty. The relieved soldiers erupt in applause and toss their battle helmets as they celebrate the joyous news. However, before the soldiers complete their celebration, the platoon's lieutenant informs them that the battle wouldn't be called off until 11 a.m. the next day. This dampens the soldiers' moods, but they remain optimistic as they anticipate the war's definite end. 
The next morning, the American and French troops charge toward the enemy lines for their final battle. As the fight progresses, Gaston and Robert alongside Stubby are cornered by two German soldiers as both parties hold each other at gunpoint. Fortunately, before things turn bloody, a trumpet sounds as the clock strikes 11 a.m., thus signaling the end of the war. As the trio reunites with Hans, they are devastated to discover that Olsen died during the final battle. The men silently mourn their fallen comrade as they bow their heads to pay their last respects. The following week, the troops pack their bags as they prepare to return to their respective countries. With a heavy heart, Robert bids Gaston goodbye as the American forces finally return home. On arrival, the returning soldiers are received with warm welcomes as the crowd cheers in gratitude for their service. Together, Hans and Robert walk the streets while Stubby proudly rides in an automobile. The movie ends as a photographer takes a shot of the military dog as a photo of the real-life Stubby appears on screen. That's a wrap for this animation recap. Subscribe to see more videos like this. Turn on the notifications and leave a like to help the channel out. Thanks for watching.